both ends of the floor. Never seems to get tired, by the way. He's he's not coming out of the game. Stan, he's not looking over there saying, no. Dominique, you tired? <laughs> no way. I don't believe he or Howard has come out of the game tonight. 29 now for Jones. There he is again, always around the ball. Howard's gonna take it himself. The ball is not done yet, and it's a seven-point game. Providence's transition defense suddenly just not there. They're not getting back, and USF going out and running. This is Providence's tempo, but USF saying we're going to play that up-tempo basketball as well. Jones almost got the steal. McKenzie comes out with it. And there is the pick for Mercer. Jones, look at him run the floor. And Dominique will head to the free throw line. Now to get back into it. Pile up the twos and the ones. It's taken. 31, he's five shy of his career high with five minutes to play. Shows you, you stay with it, you start off a little cold. Now he's on that tremendous roll. And for Providence, stay poised. A lot of time left in this game, continue to be aggressive. But they've got a certain focus on getting back defensively. The transition D hasn't been there. Oops. And push. Peterson, the stick back is good. Jermaine with 22. Now Brooks just taking it in there, drew a crowd. And that allowed Peterson to do his thing from the weak side. Providence needs to do that, mix up the driving with the three-point shots. on the block working on Dixon with the four fouls and Blyle comes out with the miss good defense that time by Dixon hands were up down hit the 80 point mark a solid game by the freshman council double figures he's dished the ball situation with Fitzpatrick and Jones playing or uh, four fouls if the Bulls are gonna win it they're gonna have to do something they haven't done all year and that's score more than 80 points but the Friars aren't gonna make it easy on them Dixon lays it up and it's back to an 11 point lead timeout USF everything that he can do and right now the Bulls need to pour it on with three and a half to go it's it's about getting the uh, you know, high percentage shots and getting some stops on defense right now. And when you don't have the three working for you in a big way, it's tough to make up this kind of deficit. They're just one for eight tonight. Jones will try to fix that. Peterson with 22. Brooks with 21. 16 for Curry. 14 for Council tonight. Dixon fouled by Famous. Bulls had gotten, uh, gotten the game back into single digits. Hasn't been able to stop mm -hmm. Providence with any consistency. See that end round the Friars 53% from the floor tonight, including the 11 three pointers and four guys in double figures. I think the fouls are for two with USF guys getting the foul trouble. Nice look. So you understand he's had to play a lot more zone than he probably wanted to tonight. Want to play man to man, but but for Providence right now, they're going to go four corners. Probably see some pressure. You have to make some free throws to put it away. Of course, another way too, Ron, to look at that schedule for Providence is that is a land of opportunity for them to really shore up their NCAA resume. They know they've got a chance to take out a couple of ranked teams. That'll be a big opportunity. Oh, Council <laughs> going upstairs to Peterson. I tell you, the uh, Council's played great. He's really uh, showing a lot of poise at the point guard spot, and Peterson continues to show it. Then the six foot six inch, uh, you know, uh, height. And Rowan Herb Pope, the other two. And she gets the free throw. Here comes some full court pressure. Get 
Really, two point guards out there with Curry and Council both handling the ball well. This is execution time for Providence. Run your spread, take some time off the clock, and finish things off. Council on the ground, and the no look to Peterson who missed on the jam. It's Patrick came over to bother him on the shot. Jones, oh, he saw the defender Jones. waiting for him to take it all the way to the bucket, so he pulls up and hits the mid-range. He knows how to finish. Great, great score, a great effort by Dominique. Oh, nice steal. The pick by Mercer for the layup. 1.15 to go, and it's back down to seven, and Mercer whistled for the foul, reaching in on Curry. Opponents coming up, taking good care of the ball will be critical. Now 17 points total. Curry a key guy though in close games because he does shoot those foul shots so well. Put him on the line. So important to have that ball handler that's a good free throw shooter. Howard. Famous for tip no. Jared. Fouled after a good fight for the loose ball. And he get into foul trouble. Good looking young player as well. Seven rebounds for Famous, just 60%. Good ball handling. Council. The freshman working that clock and then gets the oh. That's a clinic right there, huh? Working the dribble, all of a sudden the path is there. Howard drills the three, timeout goes. I think he liked the tempo of this game. It's been more Providence style, but he's excelled at it. They get the inbound and now Council. Mercer will have to foul Vincent, put the freshman on the free throw line. It gives uh, Providence even more ball handling with Sherrod Curry out there. Council gets a pair. Now they'll look for Jones to score quickly and Cardock or Noriega to foul quickly. Famous. The assist for Jones. Council's open. And Famous had to commit the foul. As we're in a bit of foul trouble, and it was when they both picked up their third bang bang that dropped from that. Council misses. Jones. And it's a one possession game. 19 seconds to go. And Curry is bumped. Curry, 88 attempts. That's why Stan eats it. Oh no. Not him. Two possession game, but still 15 seconds to go. Jones got it again. Watch baskets, one after another by Jones. 37 tonight. Oh, another turnover. They get the steal. Howard, they need the three to tie. Fitzpatrick gets it up in time. And it's good. Unbelievable. Dorland Fitzpatrick, his second three of the season, ties it with two tenths. Unbelievable comeback by the Bulls. Just kept coming at him, and they got the turnover. Freshman from King High School in Tampa, his second career three, and it's a doozy. It looked like Jones got his hand on that one, deflected it. Stan Heath's got to be thinking the whole time, get it back to Jones, get it back to Jones. <laughs> and then a very difficult three by Fitzpatrick, who's been in foul trouble all night, the big fella, knocking it down, and we're, we're at 95 up for the extra session.